Just got to share some beautiful tomatoes here. Probably the best year we've ever had growing tomatoes. They just keep coming. Borrowed some ag lime, I think it was, in liquid form from some Amish friend. And uh, we have just never had tomatoes like this. Big ones, small ones, everything in between. So, <clears throat> I thought, and this is, this is zucchini squash, something like that. And I don't know, my wife knows. And cucumbers, I don't know if you can see that cucumber there. Let's see if I can zoom into that. Look at that. Cucumbers just left and right growing everywhere. It looks like they're kind of drying up or got some kind of uh, something going on there. But uh, we've we've nearly killed ourselves on cucumbers and tomatoes. But okay, I got a quick, quick question to ask anybody. If this will let me spin it around, which apparently it will not. That's not good. Yeah, so apparently when you start recording it, don't let you spin the camera around. Anyway, I just want someone to explain to me, yeah, whether we agree on politics or, or, or religious ideas or not, how local and state level gover governors, mayors and governors, can permit crime, rioters, um, military people, whatever you want to call them, the looters, uh, to attack innocent people, burn down their their businesses, and how is, is that not a war crime, or how is that not treason, and how come that hasn't been addressed, at least not that I've seen. Or share share with me a link if you will, and I'll get off of this. But this is just one question that's really bothered me. If you have a mayor that tells a police force to stand down while people are being hurt and their businesses that they worked hard all their lives to build up perhaps are being burned down and people are getting hurt. Uh, how is that not treason? How is that not like a war crime against the people? He's letting military style thugs come in with guns, clubs, and everything, regardless of what they say they're doing it for. Then he's telling the police to stand out unless the people try to stand up and defend themselves. And then they send the police to confiscate their weapons. How is that not punishable by some severe, I mean, it may be not a war crime, but how is that not, that's treason against the American people. They're sworn to protect and uphold the Constitution to protect the people and stuff like that. I just don't get it. If you could share, anyone can share with me how that's being allowed to go on for months, I'd really appreciate it. I mean, hats off to Trump, but how come that's not being addressed? How come they're just sending troops in to defend statues and uh, courthouses? Why not go after the people they're telling the police to stand down and not defend it, you know, in the first place? I realize some places have gotten completely out of control and they got to send to the military, but anyhow, that's my that's my big question. And uh, I'll leave everybody alone.